할렐루야! I praise him more and more every day. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If I had 10,000 lives in which praise him, yeah. I could not enough my breast the road, although I want to tell you the spiritual sin we should know as a Christian uh, this is very important in better field we you know we have to fight every day in spiritual realm the Bible says in Ephesians 6, chapter 10 to 20, our, our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Our battle, our struggle to fight is against the spiritual thing hmm? that in the rule in this air, air and this world crazy world. You know that. A majority of people believe there is God. They believe God. Yeah. God is existent. But what I'm saying, many of these People, same people, believe evil spirit and devil are fictional, not real. Yeah. They do think. More and more popular movie, TV, entertainment, the fixture, uh, you, you know, in in TV and uh, uh, books uh, and mysticism and occult, including psyche. It's like this problem in this country. Look at the street, even downtown. The other side is sharp located. <laughs> you know, that, uh, that which is a servant of the devil. They, they, they view the people into the it, 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 it evil way that going to cause destruction to the hair huh? or the vampire you see the, the vampire movie on TV internet and the witchcraft what I'm talking to, that is all that belong to spiritual thing, spiritual realm, evil thing. They are all the servant of devil. Uh, but <coughs> are these things Actually, dear, do you think this, those, those things are, are real? A lot of people think that this spiritual dimension is unreal. And a lot of people so that. 
This is not here. This is uh, like uh, fiction. And even those who believe in demons and the devil have confliction, confliction understanding. They saw the confliction understanding of what this dimension are all about. But I want to say, look at this world. Hmm? Warfare, bloodshedding, terrorism, eh? riot, torture, eh? natural disaster everywhere, starvation, hatred, corruption, materialism, fashionism, eh? occultism. Mysticism, perversion, I can't count those things. Evil things being spread all over the world, this generation. People are astray, they go to the destruction. Is there a <coughs> spirit behind these action? This is my question. Who who control those things that people are doing now, evil things? Some, something control those things they are doing. If you can believe your Bible, the answer to that question is uh, resounding. Of course, yes. Yes. Something control this world. Something is behind those who are doing evil things. Satan and his demons, which is, is working in, in this entire world, crazy world, you know, have been a great mystery to this world, in fact. Uh, Apostle Paul <coughs> revealed the astounding reason why this is the case. Uh, Second Corinthians 4, chapter 3 through the 4. Even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. God of this age has blinded the, the mind of unbeliever so that they cannot see the light of gospel in Jesus Christ, who image of God. They don't believe they are 
blind. All are blind. That's they don't. They cannot see the light, the gospel. Who is the God of this world? Both the people would say, <coughs> God, creator. The God, small God, small G, who rules the world is actually Satan, the devil. In John 12, 12 chapter 31, uh, Gospel John 14, chapter 30, say that this evil being is called, listen my friend, the prince of this world. <laughs> eh? One chapter 18, yeah. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us, you and me, who are being saved, it is the power of God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh. Uh, who are, you know, we are living in the devil's world. Hmm? No to. The yeah, second Corinthian, yeah, four chapter four, I have said. The devils blind people to truth and reality. In fact, he had deceived mankind into believing. He doesn't even exist. They are cheating. People are cheated by the devil's practice. Devil is a liar. He is a liar. He is a father of lies. Husband to the age of 44. Devil is a lie. Both the churchmen today <coughs> viewing everything from the perspective of this world today blindly assume this is God's world. They see, they saw certain forces of evil in, in this world. They feel that they must oppose and fight against evil they see, they sought in certain things, not whole thing. Hear me. They didn't see this the whole world which devil is ruled. What Bible says? Satan said, 
the Jesus Christ. This world, all authority, the power, has been given to me. I can give everyone, whoever I want. Look for chapter 6. That concept is a long viewpoint altogether. This is not a world of a God's making. You must know. This is a second world where we are living now. Satan is the invisible God of this world. He is the author of its organization, its basic philosophy, its system of government, each country, business, Society, of course, yes, religion, all religion, that spread all over the world now, including Roman Catholic, which is main, main, False religion. People are cheating now. This is a vitally important truth. We ought to know. Christians should know the spiritual world. What Bible said about the spiritual realm. You know, that I want to tell you the origin of the evil according to HK 28, chapter 9, 13 through 14. How did Satan and the demons come into existence? The biblical revelation on this point is plain and clear. You can see. But, oh, my, uh, hear me, my brother and sister. But, it must be pieced together from several different passages. That I want to tell you a little bit. Gospel John 1, chapter uh, 1 through the 3. In the beginning was a word. Word Word with God. Word, word God. He was with God. In, in him all things were made. Through the Him, all things were made. Without Him, all was not made. He was not made that 
had it been made. God and the world exist eternally. These two lived in total unity. As the only beings in the universe since before time began, they are professional creator who devised the universe and all living thing in it. Did they create uh, devil and demon? No. God did create angels to help them. No, help him. Create the minister, the governor for his creation. Angels are his minister, agent, helpers, God's creation. Hebrews 1, chapter 14. Hmm? They are servants of God. Play a critical role in full field. His eternal purpose. You know, he was the archangel, the Lucifer, yeah. Lucifer was Archangel shell covering God's throne. Psalm 99, chapter 1. You know, the Archangel Lucifer was one of just two covering shell. God created and educated the Lucifer for his assignment on earth's throne. Hmm? Lucifer sought his mind he He did against God's will and a bit from the God's throne. He was prideful and arrogant. The Bible clearly say, uh, Isaiah. 14 chapter 13 Rushpo had said in his mind I will ascend into heaven I will exalt my throne above like God the stars of God I will sit also upon the mountain of the congregation in the side of the north. Hmm? Do you recognize the devil's influence 
in the world over which he is a priest and God today? Or are you one who is blind to it? Think about it. The fact, I want to tell you, that holy angels and evil spirits are invisible, does not negate their existence in I don't tell you. In truth, the invisible spirit world is more real than the material world and the visible world. There is a spiritual realm. You should understand. Christians should know there is a spiritual world where we are fighting against the evil spirit. We can win every battle. There is a spiritual realm, yes, an invisible dimension of life that is more real than this physical world we experience with our five senses every day. Oh, this spiritual realm has more influence on our world and even on our life than you realize. Believe it or not, Satan works in people constantly influencing the thought and action of the human beings. Huh? See, do you think see, you, do you see it unbelievable? Just, uh, I, I, I want to say, just look at the today's headline. Let's go. And see if, if, <laughs> see if that doesn't make a complete logical sense, Satan moves on human speed with the people to move them in attitude of the envy, jealousy, resentment, impatience, anger, bitterness, and strife. And the people have no realization of the tremendous power of Satan. No, that's what I'm speaking. Although the thing Satan is doing, now we should recognize and, and we have to prevent this uh, and all the bad things we have to fight. We gotta win. The human spirit with each human is automatically tuned to Satan's wavelengths. This is all extremely important. Important fact. To recognize, here is the victory. I want to tell you. Our spiritual lifeline to God is crucial. It takes a diligent, hmm, focused effort to the tune out of the set and the broadcast and the tune in the God's wavelength. Got to wave lens. Hmm? We must take a stand with God through the prayer, the study, Bible, meditation, and fasting sometimes. This is uh, this is this is the thing I want I, 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 I want to tell you. What a marvelous hope God offers for us. Hmm? Resist the devil and draw to God. God will draw to you. Huh? Understand the reality of the spirit. The spirit world. Utilize your spiritual lifeline. Submit to God 
and the fight to conquer God will fight for your better. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, pray the Lord. We got the win. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Victory forever. Bye-bye.